watch you guys in this video we're taking a look at how to stop microsoft edge from taking over windows now if you've installed another browser and made this your default browser let's just say google chrome in this case no matter what you do and change all of your settings to uh, google chrome it will always redirect to microsoft edge when you open up pdf files on the internet or whether you use the widgets area it will always uh, default to uh, the microsoft edge and even if you're using the search feature to search for a website and then click on that link it will always redirect to microsoft edge even though the your browser has been defaulted to say uh, google chrome or firefox or any other type of browser let me show you what i mean so we're going to click on this link here and as you can see straight away it's opened up in uh, Microsoft Edge and we want to open this up in Google Chrome say for instance or Firefox or any other default browser that we've chosen for our system but unfortunately Windows 11 doesn't work that way so having a look here inside the search we'll go to this link here click on it and it's going to open up in uh, Microsoft Edge now if you want this to open up in your choice of browser there is a way to do it and I'll show you how to do it in this video it's basically a piece of software that you can install on your system, which has been created by Robert here, who has made this little program to actually redirect to the choice of browser of your choice, rather than being forced to use Microsoft Edge. It's called MS Edge Redirect, and you can use this for free, download it and install it. It is on a GitHub, so I'll leave the link in the video description. Make sure you download the latest stable version, it does have an uninstall feature, which allows you to uninstall this if you don't wish to use it. But let's go ahead and get this installed on the system and we'll take a look at how it works. Now you're gonna see unknown publisher here and that's because it hasn't been registered or anything like that. So it's gonna show up as an unknown publisher here. So let's go ahead and accept the terms and conditions here and click next. And now we can choose whether we want to use it per user or for all users. So I'm going to just use it for per user here and we can start a MS Edge redirect service with Windows. So there will be a little service. Now you can hide this in the icon tray if you wish. I'm going to leave it visible so you can see what it looks like. And there is also active mode for all users if you've got multiple users on that computer. Let's go to the next uh, phase here, which is to uh, de-enable Windows Store apps, also redirect PDFs. You've also got replace weather results with whatever you want to use maybe use another different type of platform that you'd like to get your weather from you can change change that there also we've got replace bing search results with google or any other type of browser you see listed here so i'm going to be using the google version here and again we've got the uh, d embed windows store app so i'll put a tick in there and also we've got the redirect pdfs so if you want to open up PDF files in the choice of browser that you choose, you can put a tick mark in here and go to the application of your choice, which will be Google Chrome in this case. And then now we've got that in place, I can click install and click finish. So there we go. There is the actual program down there in the bottom icon tray because I left it visible. So let's go ahead and put this to the test and see how it works. I'm going to open up the search box here and I'm going to type in here CPU Z and do a search on the web here and we can see the results here so I can now click on this link and this will open up in Google Chrome instead of being forced to use Microsoft Edge for my browser so why would you go ahead and install a browser on your system if you're being forced to use the Microsoft Edge browser it doesn't make no sense now Microsoft could easily resolve and fix this themselves rather than forcing people to use their browser that they may not want to use. So if I go ahead and install Google Chrome, that means I want to use Google Chrome as my default browser rather than Microsoft Edge. So let's try one more thing here. I'm going to do a quick search here and you can see this is a new page. And again, it's opened up in Google Chrome, which is really nice. That's what it's designed to do. So let's go ahead and open up the widgets now and test the widgets to see whether this has been resolved as well. So we can click on this one here and there we go. That is now opened up in Google Chrome instead of Microsoft Edge. So that's exactly how this works. So let's just try one more thing here and try a PDF file and open up a PDF file and see whether this opens up in 
Google Chrome instead of Microsoft Edge. And there we go, it's opening up in Google Chrome as well. So a little program like this can resolve a really annoying issue that really does make me not want to use the search for uh, searching web pages in there. And also it makes me not want to use other features that are built into Windows 11. So this little application is a really decent little application. I hope Robert keeps up his hard work and keeps this program up to date until Microsoft maybe uh, reverse their choice to let you choose whatever browser you want to open those links up into. For some reason, I just don't think that's going to happen because Microsoft do want to force you to use Microsoft Edge in some way, shape or form. Now, you may be thinking, how do I uninstall this? Well, there is a little uninstaller. You can go to the programs and features. I'll quickly show you here just in case you want to know how. Go to settings. Inside here, you can go to the app section. Under there, you want to go to apps and features and then drill down until you find the application uh, to uninstall, which is MS Edge Redirect. As you can see here, hit the three dots and click uninstall, and this will uninstall the application for you. Very simple and easy to do. But I'm pretty sure you're not going to uninstall it because you're going to probably want to use it because it stops you being redirected using Microsoft Edge by using this simple little program. Awesome little program. So anyway, I'll leave all the information and links in the video description. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members and any sort of new YouTube members that have just joined. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.